Welcome to the Flat Track Factory. It's a special day today. The shipping company just arrived with a package from the engine builder. So I can't wait to get in there. This video is uh, a very special one for you guys. When you get an engine back from a professional engine builder, there's a couple of things you need to do to open it safely, particularly in this day and age. There's a couple of tools you may not be aware of that are required, and we're gonna show it to you. So stick around. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, talk about the things that are necessary. First thing you need is some medical grade pickups. This uh, has teeth and I prefer that for something I'll show you in a second. We're also going to need some safety grade uh, goggles or glasses. I like the tinted because uh, sometimes you can be blinded by some things that happen. So I'm going to put those on now and I'll go ahead and uh, also glove up here. and. Uh, Crew Chief does not have any safety gear, so we're going to need to get him to step back. Okay, Val. And I'm going to go ahead and also for uh, safety is uh, run uh, the dual cartridge respirator. Get out of the way, it's dangerous. Come on. Stand back. You know how this works. All right, so. We're going to carefully lift the lid while looking away. Let's see what we got. All right, what do we got here? First thing, we got some uh, old valves and valve guides. Okay, that's good. Uh, beat up third gear. Uh, smoked clutch. Put that on eBay. Oh, and look what we got right here. See. This is exactly what I was talking about here. An experienced engine builder may try to sneak this in, the shipping container, rather than put it in the mail. And this is exactly what I was uh, expecting because he is crafty and he knows what he's doing. Put it on top there so I can't get to the engine until I look at this. So this is why I have on the respirator not to be influenced by uh, anything that might be in there and get me to look at it and in case I'm blinded I have on um, the eye protection with the tint so I can't see quite as well. So I'm going to use the medical grade pickups here while looking away I'm going to pinch this here and I'm going to get this out of the way. This invoice this is not something that you want to see uh, anytime soon and uh, you want to make sure that you can be able to say, well, I didn't, I didn't actually see that, so I have to, I have to look for that. Or maybe you can invoice me again. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and keep looking here. And then we got a custom, custom uh, clutch cable here. That's great, great tip for a Rotax. And then we can actually go ahead and look in here. We have the dangerous part out of the way. We can go ahead and remove our safety gear here. Then go ahead and try to remove these gloves in medical fashion where we take the contaminated part and roll them into the inside and then get rid of those so we don't have any contact with something that may have touched the invoice. I'll tell you some features about this. A cooler is an excellent way to ship an engine if you didn't know that. Uh, you can get various sizes. This one fits the Rotax really well. Um, 40 bucks. Uh, it's amazing. I paid way more for crates. All right, so we'll unwrap here and see what we're going on. Oh, fresh painted. Look at that. Got some, maybe some padding here. Oh, yes. See, this is the happy face there. Yes, that's that's me. This is a, it's a portrait I think my engine builder did for me. Looks good. And yeah, buddy. Here we go. All right, this is now safe to take in the shop. Time for the big reveal. Let's get this thing out of here. That next year he tries to sneak another invoice underneath the engine. Yeah, buddy, look at this. Exciting times.
guess we'll finish off with a peek at some naughty bits.